Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we turn look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And today for Monday, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at the lesson that's assigned for morning prayer, the second lesson from St. Luke's Gospel. We're now on chapter 15, beginning at verse number one. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners, and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. Either that woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And then when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. Okay, now I hope that we understand that the entire mission and ministry of Jesus Christ, the second person of the Trinity, his entire earthly mission and ministry was to reconcile God's fallen humanity, our, his creation, us, to reconcile us back to himself. Because sin has entered the world, we are separated from God. But because of the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, because of the sacrifice he made on the cross, we are now reconciled to God. We are forgiven through the blood of Jesus Christ. And so here we have Jesus eating with the sinful, with, the, with those who were publicans, right? Which is another word for tax collector and sinners, right? The tax collectors are, are such bad sinners in the eyes of the people of this time period that they're even more, uh, it's publicans and the rest of the sinners, right? So with that being said, here we have Jesus pointing out to him that these folks are the reason why. These folks right here, the sinful, are the reason why he's on earth. Jesus Christ came to save sinners. Now, of course, he tells the two parables about the lost sheep and about the finding of the coin. And we, as the body of Christ, it is our mission and ministry to proclaim the good news of God, that Jesus Christ has died for our sins, that we are forgiven, that those who repent and believe in the gospel, those who call upon the name of Jesus Christ, they're saved. That forgiveness is for us and for our sins. But, you know, I, I do kind of have to wink, wink, nudge, nudge when I read about this because he says that, you know, that there's more joy over one sinner that repented than over 99 just people that need no repentance? I got news for you. We may have a hard time finding 90 and 9 just people in the crowd even that Jesus is talking to. Right? We should be all striving for holiness. We should all be striving for righteousness. But we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. And although we like to point out other people's sins, those notorious sinners, the notorious livers, right? Well, look at that sinful person over there. Uh, when we do this, we got a couple of fingers pointing back at us too. We may have littler sins. We may not have as flagrant the sins. But unless we're saints, we aren't there yet. We need constant state of having a, a searching and fearless moral inventory and to see where we need to continue to bring it to God and ask for forgiveness and ask him to help us with that amendment of life. God willing, the sins will get smaller, further apart as we go closer and closer to the holiness he desires for us. So today's Monday. Uh, we do have Holy Communion today at 12.15 and evening prayer at 4 o'clock. I do hope God willing to see you in church.